And this is a project that we are right now completing called the Prestige University, which is situated in Indore. That is the site. And when you go as opposed to most sites, which have one road or one side of the site or two sides or three sides touching roads, this plot has a single access point from the main highway. And the client's requirements were so high that they wanted to build uh, 23,000 square meters. If you were to build a six-story building, this would have been the result. You would have had more than 60% of the site as landscape space. But then you don't build a university which is so high. You'd like to keep a university with less vertical circulation and more horizontal. So we decided to bring down the floors. But when you bring down the floors, you get a much larger floor plate. So the landscape reduces to 46%. And it's a very big span, 90 by 80 meters. And when you do a span like that, then all the parts of the building don't get natural light. So we decided that you punctuate this. But when you punctuate it, the plinth becomes still larger. So your landscape is reduced to 39%. And then instead of taking the traditional courtyard the way it was, we said, what if we scatter these courtyards all through the building? And each courtyard has a different depth, a different width, so that when you're in this classroom or when you're in this library or when you're in this admin area or in the cafeteria, you get to experience a different kind of courtyard every time. Because that is the boring aspect of the Indian architecture traditional courtyard where whichever room you're in, that courtyard by and large looks the same from everywhere. Here you have a specific identity to each portion. And these are the circulation paths that are within it, which are created in an organic way, taking a cue from the organic streets which exists in every old Indian city as well as in Italian cities. And it also leads one to the future expansion at the back. And then when you do this, we realize that if you were to take the building at the back slightly higher, bring the front a little lower and let the landscape actually go through the entire building, making it accessible to all the 15,000 students who will be there finally, what happens is that the entire building becomes a huge public community space to do really large functions with a landscape terrace that gradually steps up as an open auditorium. So this is how we visualize people finally moving across the roof towards the end. And then the entire building is screened with Indian traditional jalis or screens as they are called. So this is the program, I'll run through it very quickly. So the building keeps stepping back and the very extensive program is arranged in this way. And because of the way the courtyards cut through the building, what happens is that as soon as you keep progressing through, the section constantly changes, the space between constantly changes, the relationship of built and open constantly changes. So these are floor plans that they step back with classrooms, library, cafeteria, admin spaces, and a section through the building showing how light enters. Again, this is a very important aspect because here, Indore is one of the hottest cities in India with 35 degrees plus Celsius for eight months of the year. So all the light is indirect in the entire building. So you have these little, little courtyards interspersed all through, and then the whole building becomes this open auditorium, and people can walk up and down the terrace, sit at different parts, do different kind of activities, look down into the courtyards, this is the entry point. So at every point when you experience the building inside also, the space is constantly changing. So this is now at an advanced stage. In fact, this photograph itself was about eight months old. So the building is finished and uh, we should be done by March this year.